child's birth will have a huge impact on your relationship. So today I'll show you how exactly it can influence it for better or for worse. The birth of a child has a very positive impact on the conscious involvement in a relationship. One of the three components of love. In a relationship where there is a child, both parties will usually be much more reluctant to a too hasty decision to break up and much more willing to consciously fix the relationship, at least in comparison with the situation where they don't have a child. Unfortunately, even a strong decision to be together for the sake of a child's well-being will not last long if the friendship between the partners is over and there are regular quarrels, and that will unfortunately be more probable after the child is born. As family research shows, the best time in a relationship is during the first pregnancy, while the worst time exposed to the biggest crisis is the first year after the birth of the baby. There are several reasons for this which are not necessarily often discussed. One of them is a lowered libido that breastfeeding women have, which can cause the frequency of sexual intercourse to drop significantly. A matter made even worse by the period of about 6 weeks after the childbirth. Women often feel less attractive after pregnancy which makes them resign from sex for a longer time. And unfortunately, a very low frequency or lack of sex, which normally has a very positive effect on the relationship, can be a big problem that will lower the quality of the relationship. In addition, the likelihood of quarrels increases greatly. On the one hand, because there are new responsibilities to share, and this is not always easy. On the other hand, there is a sleep deficiency, which most often accompanies young parents and causes nervousness, making it even easier to argue. The couple's lifestyle also changes drastically. It is much more difficult to make spontaneous dates and have time just for the two of you, which can weaken the friendly relationship between partners and this can really weaken the quality of the relationship in the long run. The biggest problems usually occur in couples where only one side wanted a child and the other didn't even want one or had very big doubts about it. Such couples, as the research shows, are most vulnerable to a crisis. The childbirth is a big test for the relationship, which unfortunately often does not end well. The decision to start a family should be made at a time when the relationship is really going well. Having a child is certainly not a cure for a crisis that is already going on. All this doesn't mean that the crisis must happen. You'll have a great chance to avoid it if you learn how to maintain a happy and healthy relationship. And this is exactly the subject of my online training, which I run regularly. So I invite you to sign up at relations.robertmarshall.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.